Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well in laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom la Bachaya, peace to the elect. So basically, what you saw there was an advert, and it actually, um, the beginning of it said, Israel destroyed my life or Israel ruined my life, something to that effect. I thought, you know what, this topic would be interesting to explore upon a video. In fact, turn that off and that's a um, if you've not subscribed to that channel subscribe to that channel you should be able to see it apostles live gms 34th a lot of wisdom there man all right so anyway we're in isaiah chapter 2 and obviously we're dealing with prophecy because a certain people were set in that land were set in the land of israel but did it match according to what biblical prophecy claimed it would and is the scriptures off because this is Tanakh right this is um or Tanakh going into Torah Thorah um Na Nabayam or they'll say Nabim meaning the prophets Torah obviously Thorah being the law and then um I believe it's uh, Ketavim I don't know how to say that in Paleo Hebrew so forgive me but that's dealing with writings right so three sets in what's known as the Tanakh, and it's an, uh, I believe the term is an acronym. Let's just look that up real quick. Yeah, acronym, word formed from the letters, from the first letters of a series of words. Not really the first letters, but truly it's the first couple of letters. Highest, topmost, at the extremities, yeah. So, anyway. We're in Isaiah 2, and we're going to read from 1. The word that Yeshua, or Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Yahawada and Yerushalam. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the mount in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And this is dealing with when the children of Israel in fact one minute. Okay, this audio should be much better. When the children of Israel shall be set in the land of Israel. Okay. And according to uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, they are currently in the lands of their captivity until the Messiah returns. And that's when they'll be set in their land. But it says, Isaiah 2 and 3, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the power of Yaquab, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion to Zion 1 shall go forth the law, and the word from Yahweh, and the word of Yahweh from Yerushalayim, and you're not you're not getting this now. You're not getting the law, Ha Thawara, going forth from Zion, is in the land. It's actually rather going from the monument scattered abroad, and you are going to have a remnant in that land, even a remnant of those that have the um, paler skin. You are going to have a remnant of Israelites in them because it's scattered among all nations, but holistically. The law is not going forth from the land of Zion. You've got various alphabet marches. We're all familiar with the scriptures. You know, Leviticus 18 and 22, I believe it is. Leviticus 20 and 13, I know it is. Okay, so that's not happening. Many other things I've heard, I've not seen it myself, but I've heard reports of quote-unquote kosher pork, which is actually abominable. According to Leviticus 11, Deuteronomy 14. So we're not seeing these things take place, man. Okay. You have four, Isaiah two and four, and he shall judge among many, and he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But you've got constant tanks back and forth, children throwing rocks and such. But this th that's complete disorder if this is the children of Yasharal are set back in their land of course there'll be a time that there'll be an evil thought you know in the mind of kings but when Israel are set in their land to rule and reign then this is this is the prophecy man and people will not, not have weapons of warfare but rather weapons of tilling the land so that they may eat so you know you've got Isaiah 2 and 5 O house of Jacob come ye and let us walk in the light of Yahweh, and that's not what we're seeing if this is the in fact look the next one as well therefore thou hast forsaken thy people the house of Jacob 
because they be replenished from the east. And as sooth says, like the Philistines, and they please themselves in the children of strangers. But that's where you get the term Palestine, Philistine, if I'm not mistaken. And that's where you have, you have it split into Israel, Palestine, a lot of places, Jordan. I believe that's where the ancient city of Bosra is currently. So it's all divided. It's not, it's not being um, put back to its first. And I want you to research, the audience of this video, research the land that was promised unto Abraham. Just search Abraham land promise KJV on Google or something. It should come up, Lord Willie. All right. And we'll, we'll, you know, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. It's just a, a few things that if this is, if this has taken place, these are the people of the book, then this should have been happened, man. All right. And I pray it was edifying to you sincere brothers and sisters to maybe promote question or just to reconfirm things you already knew or however it can be applicable unto thee. So with that, double honours to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and labour in the word and doctrine. Shalom to the sincere elect. And all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Shalom.